What's going on? Welcome back to another video. My name is Min. I'm a 19 year old entrepreneur. If you have not watched any of my videos or you're new to this video, I own a digital marketing agency with my partner. He's currently in the Philippines right now because that's what you get when you run a digital marketing agency and have passive income every single month. Now, if you guys are new, go ahead and click that like, comment, and subscribe button to see more content. But today we're going to be going over three things that I feel that is going to benefit you guys with your agency and how it's going to take your clothes and your pricing to the next level, right? On the whiteboard back here, it's not for you guys to read. It's for more for me to know the concept of the video and also just have in the background if you guys can read it, right? So we're going to go over three things that will help you close more deals and value your service. What do I mean by this and how these three things make you more money and also save you a lot more time? So when it comes to value, there's two different aspects of it. How do you value yourself and what do people value you like, right? So my experience, my knowledge of you know watching influencers and myself, the way you value yourself, people will, continue, people will just magnetically value you the same way. What that means is, listen, if I'm gonna charge $300 for a one hour call, and that is only, that's I'm not budging, I'm not going down no matter what, that's my value, right? You obviously have to have to have a reason on why you're valuing that call at $300. Now, let's just say somebody were to get on a phone call with you and that $300 can turn out to make them four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000, then that's a good value. You don't wanna charge somebody $1,000 to speak to you and you give a hundred dollar value. Does that kind of make sense? The value has to match up or the person coming to you that's paying that 300 is going to walk away with knowledge that is gonna make them five, 10 X the money that they invested. You can easily charge a hundred, 200, 50 bucks, five bucks an hour because all of these numbers are imaginary. They're all imaginary numbers. So when it comes to valuing your service, you gotta value your time. How much is your time worth, right? You gotta be able to put it out there and, and, and literally tell people like, hey, my time is worth $300 an hour and here's the reason why. It has to make sense. You're not gonna go out and say, like, I'm, I'm value at 300 because I want $300 per hour. No, when you've put your service out and you value the service at $300 an hour, you tell them, hey, you know, I've had over two years of experience. I've had worked with over 100 clients. I've done over hundred thousand dollars whatever it is so when they get on the call they know exactly who they're talking to great example if you want to hire grant cardone to come speak in person at your event or you know in front of people it's up to about a hundred thousand dollars to have that man step on your stage to teach your audience a hundred thousand dollars and here's how he's able to do that he is probably close to a billion i think his net worth is about a billion dollars in real estate right now and he's done you know crazy hundreds of million dollars in sales with his company so when somebody pays him a hundred thousand that is the value that he's bringing to people right that's what he's teaching the experience so he's bringing the age the knowledge the experience the the, the success on stage and that's how he's able to you know charge a hundred thousand dollars to speak to in front of people Right? So when you come and you value your service for your digital marketing agency, you gotta look at a couple of things. How much value are you bringing? What type of revenue are you bringing this client? And specifically, the time that you're, you're saving the client, how much is it worth to them? Right, every niche is different. Personally, with us in our agency, we work with salons and spas, and we'll, all I can tell you is for them to do either a hair or a specific uh, procedure like microblading or laser hair removal, it takes anywhere from hour to hours and microblade takes up to six sessions, right? So their time easily, these salon owners times are worth anywhere from a hundred to $200 an hour. Easy, no hesitation, no cat, like no cat. I've been in the salon industry myself, working for a family salon for about two years as a receptionist. These people make a good amount of money when they're working in the business. They're making a good amount of money when they're actually working, right? Um, so I want you to understand when you're selling your service, you got to value it about how the result's going to be. 
Nobody's gonna pay you a thousand to get a hundred dollars results. That's just now how this is not how it works. That's just common sense, right? But I want to go over these three things. I just want to give you guys a quick overall of like value and how you value yourself and how people value um, you know themselves and stuff like that. So when you value yourself, when he's puts a hundred thousand, when Grant Cardone puts a hundred thousand dollars, like this is my set point. You want me on stage? This is this. Once one person pays him that, that's his value. That's ultimately because somebody's on this earth is willing to pay him that much. Pretty much telling other people like, yep, I'm willing to pay him because of this. So he's like, well, if he's willing to pay me, there's no point of me lowering the price. If you put a hundred thousand dollars on, on, on to, to, to speak on stage, nobody pay him. And that, that's not his value. That's not what the market sees, right? If, if you put a hundred dollar consulting call and only, you know, two people go ahead and pay you that, that means your value is at a hundred dollars you raise up to 300 and nobody books with you, then, you know, your value isn't there. They don't see the value. So create more value, you know, go out there and experience more. Something I said on my Instagram is for you to have an interesting story because all successful people have an interesting story, right? But 90% of that story is failure and their experience and their setbacks. And then 10% is their success. So if you want to hire your value, you want to hire your price per hour per event, whatever it is, you know, go out there, do more, experience more, fail, and then succeed, and you can charge more. There's a reason why if you want to have lunch with Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, it's out of the, it's, it's like a house to talk to them. They've experienced so much. They've succeeded past expectations. They've done so much in their lifetime, and that's how much they're worth. Because people are willing to pay that much. So because of that, that's how much they're worth, right? So... No more rambling. That's kind of going over value and seeing if you want to see how the market, you know, value you, just put a price out there and see if anybody go ahead and buy or invest. If they don't, then guess what? They're not valuing at that price. Two options. Either you hire your value by doing more, failing and learning and succeeding beyond what they think, or you lower the price for them to go ahead and book and to talk to you or to go ahead and bring you on stage, right? So, the three things for your agency, keep these three things in mind. And these three things has helped me with my agency. Number one is different ways to pretty much price your services. I've gone in different routes. I've seen people succeed in a lot of different routes. So there's, and I've said this phrase before, when I say social media marketing agency, I add the word your in front of it because it's your digital agency is your business. Right? You don't want to undervalue your time and money, like your, your service and charge absolutely zero. For instance, people who do free trials, who do $200 trials, in the beginning, that's fair. Like you, you don't know much. You're just trying to test out the waters. That's how much you charge, right? A couple free in the beginning is perfectly fine. That's what I did in the beginning too. I gave out free. I gave out paid, whatever it is. Now, if you want to do a trial with us, it's at least $500 to do a two-week trial, right? And I was able to establish that value from results that I've brought in to my agency. So when I talk about, you know, the different ways to go ahead and price your services, you can talk about a one package, one fit all, one price for any business in that niche or whatever. That's perfectly fine. $9.97 for a marketing Facebook ad viral video content for dentists. And that's all you sell at one price, one product, one service. That's it. That you can price people succeeded with that, right? Or you can be like, hey, you know, come up with options. Something that I believe in is options. What this means is when you go ahead and drop the price, you're like, hey, so this is how much the investment's going to be. You have three different options. Option number one is a one-time fee. Option number two, it's a monthly breakdown. Option number three, if you pay, you can pay bi-weekly, weekly, it doesn't matter. How would you like to break up the payments? Like that's how you break up the payments. But op another way of options is how you can uh, position these prices where if they choose the middle one, they're paying a little bit more, but it sounds a lot better now. So what this is for us, something that we've recently done is um, if you want to go month to month, it's at this rate every single month. But if you want to go a uh, six month agreement or 12 month agreement, what we do is we charge them an initial fee to set up everything, which is an extra two to $300 on top of the monthly thing that the month to month, for instance, example, the month to month will be a thousand dollar a month. That's it. You, all you do is pay a thousand dollars a month and it's month to month. Cancel anytime you want. You want to drop off. That's cool. There's no agreement in that. That's a thousand dollars a month. Now, if you want to go into the six month, 12 month plan toward that service, what it is, is going to be a $1,200 startup fee, um, creation fee, management fee, 
testing fee for the first month. And after that, it's going to be $500 a month for that six month period where the first month you pay 1200 and then the five other months you paid $500 a month. That to them is like, damn, I'm paying more now, but I'm saving so much money, you know, uh, like half the price if I go ahead with go with this plan. And here's the thing, when you get them on this plan, you now secure them for six months, right? Six months. The beauty of digital marketing is that it's so profitable. 90% of the revenue you bring in is profit. If you're doing it by yourself, 100% is profit. So if you sign them to a 12 months, you can be like, hey, we can start off, we can wipe the insertion fee where it's just $1,000 instead of 1,200. We sign a 12 month and you know, instead of 500, I'll charge $400 a month for every single month, right? What you have to understand is after the first month, your, um, your, your ability of like working on the ads, testing the ads kind of go down. The time you have to spend on it, you probably spent like an hour or two hours a month managing it. Um, and now clients are catching on. But if you want to go ahead and value your time at $200 an hour, you're only gonna check her ad two times a month. That's 200 bucks, two times two, four, $400 that you can charge her a month to just check it two times a month. Now you don't wanna go over and just give them a ton of value and then charge her $400 a month and you're working six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 hours on it every single month. That's just going to make you worth absolutely nothing. So that's a price guide that we've actually stepped in and start testing for our agency. And I feel like it's going to succeed because it gives people an option to sign longer and save tons more money. Those are like different ways you can price your services. Either it's breaking down the numbers or it's um, breaking down instead of a monthly payment, it's a weekly payment, maybe bi-weekly. That's another way to break it down. Uh, we've had clients ask us all the time, and it, it's cool if I can pay you bi-weekly or weekly. I'm like, that's totally fine. Like that doesn't do much for us. It's just instead of paying all at once or just breaking it down. Going into number two is how to charge more without second guessing yourself. Now, you want to remember this and a lot of agency owners don't do this. I myself haven't been doing it and it has cost me so much money and so many deals. And that is I have not been able to break down LTV. Not I'm not able to, it's just I haven't focused on it because I wasn't selling numbers, I was just selling myself. And I that was probably one of the biggest mistakes when you don't break down the numbers, you're not able to charge people a lot of money because these business owners aren't sitting there doing math, thinking about LTV and how much one client is worth. All they're thinking about is like, cool, I'm giving you a thousand, how much should I expect back? That's all they think about. They're not thinking about 30 clients is worth $30,000 in two years. That's They don't think like that. So when I break down the lifetime value, I break it down with one client in one year. So I put that together. How much is one client worth to you in a year, 12 month span? How you do that is take the average um, amount of money they spent, how many times they come in a year, and then you multiply that and you find exactly how much they're worth in a year, right? So let's just say a client in a spa spends $100 every single month um, they come in for a facial or they're coming in for laser whatever it is hundred dollars so you take that hundred dollars they come in once a month so for a whole year that's 12 months 12 so that's twelve hundred dollars that one client is worth over a year right so when you explain it to them you're like cool so you're paying me a thousand dollars now right just picture this you're paying me a thousand dollars now and then at the end of the year you get you get twelve hundred from this one client if they come back now, how confident are you on getting people to come back, right? So if I deliver 10 people, it's a very important question to ask them when you wanna go over LTV to get them to admit to you the conversion rate of people coming back. So if I were to bring you 20 customers coming in, how many of these customers will come back in your experience with the quality of work that you guys do? I would say 50% at the lowest. I'm like, oh, cool, amazing. I mean, if I deliver you 20, 10 people will come back every single month, correct? Yep, correct, cool. So if you're able to deliver 10 booked appointments, people coming in, or 20, sorry, um, and only 10 comes back, I mean, 10 people are spending 10, so it just adds on every single month with new clients. So by the end of the year, you brought them a total of um, 100, if you, 120 recurring client every single month, and you break that down, cool, how much is one of those clients worth in a year? You multiply it by 120 of those people, and because they work with you for a whole year investing, I don't know, uh, $1,000 per month, so they paid 12,000 for 120 new clients that consistently comes in every single month, find me something better than that, 
really state don't even come up with those type of numbers. But when you break that down for them, they will see it and they will think LTV. They're not going to think small. That brings me to the next topic of topic number three is years over months. And what do I mean by this? And how have you changed this? You're going to be signing clients for a lot more money. You're going to be signing clients for a lot longer and they won't be expecting results right away. And they understand where you're coming from, right? So what exactly do I mean by that? We as an agency no longer talk about months. I don't want to talk to you about 30 customer opportunities next month. I want to talk about how I can generate your business 50 to a hundred thousand dollars extra in the year that we're working with. So I get to sign them longer because we come up with a yearly plan, right? Where they can look at their yearly revenue and be like, damn, it went up two, three X since I worked with you, man. Perfect. That's our ultimate goal. So they stop thinking about month to month. We're like, Hey, this month isn't working. I'm like, I understand that. But the thing is we're here for the year. We're trying to build your marketing, your business for the year to make you an extra 50 to hundred thousand dollars. Right? So when you draw that picture, when you set up, just picture this reaching out to a client, Hey, my name is Min. I run a digital agency in the Philadelphia area. I want to show you exactly how I brought one of my salons, 30 new customers opportunities next month or last month. Or you go and you'd be like, Hey, my name is Min. I run a, a digital agency in Philadelphia. How I want to show you exactly how I bought one of my clients an extra 50 to a hundred thousand dollars in revenue this upcoming year. Which one are they going to go for? That fifty to one hundred thousand sounds ten times more, you know, uh, appealing because that's the bigger number. What business don't want to make an extra fifty to one hundred thousand? But when you break down fifty and a hundred thousand, it's a lot smaller uh, uh, than you would ever imagine. I will make another video going over that, but. When you talk, stop talking about months and start talking about year, how are we going to be able to help you this year? How many clients, how many business, how much business can we make you this year? Right? So now they're talking, they're thinking about the whole year, right? That's when you want to go sell them, start selling them on the year. Look at big people like Grant Cardone, right? He specifically signed people for 32 months, 24 months, 12 months, because he doesn't want to talk about small numbers. And this brings me to the next one. Um, it's still in the same topic, but when you're selling something, most of you are like this. Hey, Mr. Davis. So for me and you to work together in your real estate company, for me to deliver leads to you and make you more money, it's going to be a thousand dollars per month. And then Mr. Davis, it's a thousand dollars per month for a 12 month agreement. Mr. Davis is like, Hey, then this is for you to make him an extra 50 to hundred thousand dollars. First of all, Mr. Davis is like, Hey, this is a little bit too much money. It's a thousand dollars per month. Like it's just way too much. This is a trick that I've learned from Greg Cardone himself, where you don't talk about that thousand, but you talk about the bigger number. Your pie is sent back like, dude, why would you want to talk about more money when he's already objecting about a thousand bucks? But here's why you want to switch his mindset onto thinking bigger on making bigger decisions. Because when it, when you do bigger, you make more money. Right? So how would you handle this objection? He's like, Hey, a thousand dollars is way too much a month. I don't think I can afford it. You personally say, I totally understand. I knew you won't be able to afford it, but here's the thing. It's not a thousand dollars a month. It's actually more. And you pause and it's like, it's actually a $12,000 package that you're, you're committing to. You're not committing to a thousand dollars. You're committing to $12,000. Mr. Davis, he's, he himself is like, yeah, you're right. I am committed to 12. Then you're like, stop thinking about a thousand. Think about the $12,000 that you're going to have to invest, right? Switch your mindset. Stop playing small and start playing in the big leagues, right? Because if you want me to make you $50,000 to $100,000 a year and you're thinking about a thousand, that ain't going to happen, mister. Think about the 12. That's where we're at. We're working on a $12,000 deal, not a $1,000 deal. I wouldn't be here to talk to you about a thousand dollar deal. That's a waste of my time and your time. We're talking about big numbers because we want to deliver big results. Let me ask you this. Do you want to make an extra 50 to hundred thousand dollars a year? Of course I do. Awesome. Do you believe we can help you get there? Of course I do. Awesome. Yay or nay. You going with it or you're not. Yes or no. That's it. 
and then he's gonna give you either if he, if he gives you another objection, just handle it and then be able to twirl back to like cool. So where do we want to go from here? That's an amazing question to ask when it comes to closing and you guys don't have anything to say. You go, where do you want to go from here? Right? Most of the time they'll be, I think about it and stuff like that. I'll make another video of handling objections, but this video is specifically on how you should be speaking and valuing your service. And I should be positioning it to sign more clients for longer term and more money. Right? So like I said, stop talking about months and start talking about years. How are we going to be able to make you more money this year? How are we going to work together this year? Right? And that's how you're going to be able to sign bigger clients, have them think bigger, pay more and stay longer. Thank you so much for watching this video. That is the three things that will help you close more deals and pretty much go over how to value your service. If you have any questions, you can contact me below in the comments or you can follow me on Instagram at mintran underscore 13. All the links will be down below. Other than that, I upload a video every single Monday. I suggest you to go ahead and subscribe and also like this video if you guys enjoy it. Always believed in, you know, if you watch the video, get one or two things out of it. Don't worry about it, getting everything. As long as you get one piece of value and you can go out there and succeed with this piece of value, that makes me happy. That's going to make you happy. And that's pretty much it for this video this week. And I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much. Peace out.